Former NFL tight end Russ Francis was killed in an airplane crash today. He was at the Lake Placid Airport in New York, according to the Lake Placid News. The newspaper says Francis recently purchased the Lake Placid Airways scenic tour business at the airport and was in the plane with aircraft owners and pilots associations senior vice president Richard McSpadden. Francis was from Kailua and in addition to his time in the NFL with the Patriots and 49ers, he was a sportscaster here. Russ Francis was 70 years old. Oh, that's such a such a shame. I met him on a ski trip many years ago, and I remember he was a really, really good skier, obviously a good athlete. So here's my story about him. I hurt myself, and because he had worked on ski patrol, so that's us, third from the left, he actually uh, put me on his back and skied me down the hill. Because he's 6'6", and I'm 5'3". So it was like nothing for him. What's your Russ Francis story? You know what? He didn't <laughs> carry me on his back, but I did get a chance to work with him back in 96 at KGMB. Even though I was new to the station and he was obviously an NFL great, he treated me like a regular coworker and an equal. Although it may have helped that I came from Oregon and worked there for a few years and that's also where he went to college. After starting high school at Kailua High, Francis ended up graduating from a school in Oregon and went to the University of Oregon before being drafted by the New England Patriots, one of his two teams that he played for during his 13 seasons in the pros. And in addition to his football career, he also spent a little time wrestling, was inducted into the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame, and also became a pilot, spent decades flying planes.